Piers Morgan has demanded answers over how Prince Andrew paid for his out-of-court settlement. Piers Morgan has demanded answers over reports on Prince Andrew's out-of-court settlement with Virginia Jufri. This comes amid claims that the Queen footed part of the bill of the settlement. Yesterday, it was confirmed that Prince Andrew had settled out of court his civil case with Virginia. Virginia had sued the Duke of York over claims he sexually assaulted her on three occasions when she was 17. Prince Andrew has repeatedly denied these claims. The Telegraph reported in an article yesterday that the settlement was as much as £12 million. The Duke of York is paid a pension from the Royal Navy and has a stipend from the Queen's Duchy of Lancaster income. However, it is thought this would not be enough to cover the cost of the settlement. Piers has now shared his thoughts with his 7.9 million Twitter followers. He tweeted earlier today, the British public is entitled to know who paid for Prince Andrew's settlement given some of it may have come indirectly from taxpayer money. Outrageous if it's true the Queen's had to contribute towards silencing his accuser. Sick. How dare he put his mother in that position? Piers later went on to explain his disbelief in a further tweet as it was claimed Prince Andrew will retain his remaining titles. According to the Telegraph, it's thought he will remain the Duke of York following settling his sexual abuse civil case. The outspoken former host of Good Morning Britain then shared this news, calling it nonsense. He added, if you pay an accuser $12 million to avoid being held accountable for your actions in court, you renounce your right to any titles. Piers had previously aired his thoughts on Prince Andrew in a lengthy column for The Sun yesterday. He had argued the Duke of York should have all his further royal titles removed. Writing yesterday, the presenter shared his concern for the Queen. He pinned, the prospect of Her Majesty being dragged into this repulsive sewer at the age of 95, with all the salacious global headlines that would have inevitably ensued, was an outrageous, totally unacceptable situation which could have inflicted terminal damage on the monarchy. Stay.